name is Tyler Oakley, and even though I do not have internet, or power, or heat, I am still here making a video for you because y'all wanted to do another Ask Tyler. So, I got on Twitter, asked you guys to tweet me any of your questions with hashtag AskTylerAnything, and y'all delivered, so let's get into it. Kanye Not wants to know, what is the weirdest rumor you've ever read or heard about yourself? I've read that I'm homophobic. How are you bearing with the snow in Michigan? Mind you, I am freezing. I just, this is why I don't come to Michigan. This is why I don't live in Michigan anymore. The trees are down. The power lines are down. My refrigerator is not working and there's no Wi-Fi. Honestly, this is like a horror movie, but in real life. But I have to say that I am actually making do because when these things happen here in Michigan, my friends all come out of the woodworks and offer their places of warmth and Wi-Fi and it brings us together in a place of love. Claire wants to know what are your thoughts on the vamps? I love the vamps. I think they're great. They're such nice guys. I met them at somewhere in the city and I absolutely adore them. So I am here for their success and I will help them as much as I can. Alondra wants to know, who do you want to collab with next? Well, Alondra, Mama is thirsty and I think it might be time for another drunk collab with my girl Sawyer. Summer K wants to know, if you wrote a book, what would the title be? If I wrote a book, the title would probably be, look at this shit show motherfucker riding a one man struggle bus down hot mess lane. A novel by Tyler Oakley. Ella says, did you ever think about becoming a straight? <laughs> Never in my life. Good Lord, heaven above. No offense, but girl, it's not for me. Mel wants to know when the eyebrow piercing is making a comeback. So if you didn't know, very early in my YouTube career, I had an eyebrow piercing, okay? It was an experimental time in my life. I was trying to discover who I was. Part of that was facial jewelry. Kai Fangirl 101 wants to know, who would play you in the movie version of your life? It's very difficult because I'm like, okay, well, there's always Beyonce. I don't know if she'd be able to capture my essence completely because I'm such a complex bad bitch. So, I would probably have to play myself. DJ Hager wants to know, what Audible book are you suggesting this month? If I were to recommend any book this month, I would have to probably say Catching Fire because I saw the movie with a whole bunch of YouTube friends and some of us had read the books beforehand, I included, and then some of us hadn't, and we loved it. I thought it was so good. It's gonna be one of those classic trilogy movies that's just like all time amazing. But then some of the people that didn't read the book were like, they walked out so confused. And I'm like, how do you see a movie that was based on a book that was so critically acclaimed and complain that you don't get it when you didn't even read the book in the first place? I'm like, hello? If you use audible.com slash Tyler you will get your first book free. Get the book that you were about to see the movie of and just enjoy it and then you'll appreciate the movie 10 times more. Just, just do it, okay? Audible has so many audiobooks to choose from. You can just listen to anything, but I am recommending if you're gonna see a movie based on a book, read the book first. It's probably on Audible. In this case, Catching Fire is on Audible. So audible.com slash Tyler Oakley, you get your first book free. Bam, there's your hookup, no excuses. Shayna wants to know, what do you think about the Fault in Our Stars movie that's coming out in 2014? My body is ready. I adore John Green. I recommended that book the day it came out. I made a video about it way back in the day, and then I just have loved it ever since. It's one of those books that I, I'm always like, have you read this? Go read it. The movie, I think, is going to be fantastic. Even though John Green does not necessarily have a huge hand in the production of the movie, I think he would not have picked anybody that he didn't trust. So I trust him to make the best decisions possible with his baby. That is his baby. He wouldn't have done anything that he didn't believe in. And I feel like the book is going to be done justice. Audrey wants to know, what is a word to describe your fans? I'm gonna probably have to say... Incredible. In italics, that would have to be in italics. If you had a beard, what would it look like? Maybe like five, six, brown hair, cute face, nice boobs. Yeah. I dare you to try to say this word in some other language. Do it, hottie. Okay. Zog, scar, kut, bular. Nailed it. Louis wants to know, where did you get that Tumblr snapback from? So if you ever see me wearing a snapback, it is most likely this hat. I got it from Tumblr headquarters. I went and visited the Tumblr headquarters. And honestly, it was like really cool because I adore Tumblr. I spend every single day on Tumblr. I am updating my Tumblr every single moment. And so to be invited to come into the office and meet the founder was just incredible. He was so nice. And to be given that hat, I mean, it's like, it is my go-to hat nowadays. Kayla wants to know, how did you feel about playing God? 
TikTok out for YouTube Rewind 2013. It was epic. Uh, I didn't even know what I was gonna do when I went in that day to the shoot. It was huge. Every YouTuber was there and I showed up not knowing what I was gonna do and I was so nervous and they were like, how do you feel about playing Lady Gaga? And I was like, my queen! And they were like, we knew you would say that. Let's put you in a unitard. The makeup was out of control. If you haven't seen that, the link is below, but I feel like everybody has seen that by now. It was so fun. Maya says, is Bill Gates your grandpa or something? Or is this your future self? If it's my future self, a mama is rich and I'm okay with that. If looks have anything to do with monetary income, I will take it. Tiffany says, what is the hardest thing you've ever experienced? Well, Tiffany, it was probably your dad last night. Rome says, ring your mom and say a nude of yours has leaked online. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like a why not. This is Jackie. Hey. Hey. I just need your advice. Will you not judge me? I'm not judging. Okay, I'm just gonna say it. There were pictures of me that are spreading right now and they're a little bit compromising and I don't know what to do. Did they do anything? I don't think so. And I feel like you're gonna see them and the whole family's gonna see them. I don't, I'm not on Tumblr. Do you feel like it's gonna like affect my career? Probably not. Are you disappointed I, in me? No, I could care less what you do in private. But I think what you need to do is put a statement out there and say that you're highly disappointed in the fact that these are being made public. You apologize if you offended anybody. That was not your intention, that these were done in private, and somebody betrayed your trust. Okay, well, can I tell you something? What? I just betrayed your trust, because I was just joking. <laughs> you are such an asshole. <laughs> I'm filming a video. It was a dare. It said, call your mom and tell your nudes leaked. Anything you want to say to my people? I hate you. <laughs> okay, later. Love you. Bye. Bye, honey. Y'all are gonna give my mom a heart attack. I swear to God, she has never been that quiet on the phone. Renee wants to know, if you were a potato, what would you want to be when you grow up? I'm thinking like a curly fry from Arby's. Tilly Oakley wants to know, do you think you've grown from any mistakes you've made in the past? Well, I would say yes, hopefully, of course. I think the most defining thing in your life is not that you've fallen, but how you have gotten back up. And I have made mistakes, just like you have made mistakes, and my heroes have made mistakes, and my enemies have made mistakes. We have all made mistakes, but I think the most defining thing is how you learn from it, how you grow from it, and how you try to use your platform to help others learn to not make the same mistakes. So I am 100% trying to share my life, and if that didn't include the negatives, then I would not be giving you an honest representation of the things that are happening to me. And I have been open and honest with you guys for six years. An example I think would be I recently made a blog post about privilege, um, and I felt like it was really important for me to just talk about it with you guys. If you want to read that blog post, it's below. I, I feel I think the most important thing is knowing that I am not perfect and neither are you or neither is your hero and neither is your enemy. Without your guys' support and love when I am fucking up, I don't know what I would do. So thank you for, you know, encouraging me to grow and be a better person. But that is all I have for you guys this week. I hope you have a fabulous week. I have a very fun video coming on Friday with a special guest for the holiday season. If you want to see that, if you're ready for that, subscribe and push the like button on this video if you liked this video. I am really enjoying doing uh, Q&A videos with you guys. I feel like it gets you guys involved. It lets me answer questions that I would never make a whole video about. And it's just really fun for me. So thank you for being a part of it. And um, like I said, I have very fun videos planned for the rest of the year. A lot of big things are coming. Um, but until then, have a fabulous life. And I will see you guys next time. Later. I'm frozen.